Majjhimanikaya, Sutta number 57, Kukkuravatika Sutta, Dog Duty Ascetic. Thus have I heard. On one occasion the Blessed One was living in the Kolian country at a town of the Kolians named Haliddavasana. Then Punna, son of the Kolians, an ox duty ascetic, and also Sania, a naked dog duty ascetic, went to the Blessed One. Punna, the ox duty ascetic, paid homage to the Blessed One and sat down at one side, while Sania, the naked dog duty ascetic, exchanged greetings with the Blessed One. And when this courteous and amiable talk was finished, he too sat down at one side, curled up like a dog. Punna, the ox duty ascetic, said to the Blessed One, Venerable Sir, this Sania is a naked dog duty ascetic who does what is hard to do. He eats his food when it is thrown to the ground. He has long taken up and practiced that dog duty. What will be his destination? What will be his future course? Enough, Punna. Let that be. Do not ask me that. A second time and a third time, Punna, the ox duty ascetic, said to the Blessed One, Venerable Sir, this Senia is a naked dog duty ascetic who does what is hard to do. He eats his food when it is thrown to the ground. He has long taken up and practiced that dog duty. What will be his destination? What will be his future course? Well, Punna, since I certainly cannot persuade you, when I say, Enough, Punna, let that be, do not ask me that, I shall therefore answer you. Here, Punna, Someone develops the dog duty fully and uninterruptedly. He develops the dog habit fully and uninterruptedly. He develops the dog mind fully and uninterruptedly. He develops dog behavior fully and uninterruptedly. Having done so, on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in the company of dogs. But if he has such a view as this, by this virtue or observance or asceticism or holy life, I shall become a great god or some lesser god, that is wrong view in his case. Now, there are two destinations for one with wrong view, I say, hell or the animal realm. So, Punna, if his dog duty succeeds, it will lead him to the company of dogs. If it fails, it will lead him to hell. When this was said, Senia, the naked dog duty ascetic, cried out and burst into tears. Then the Blessed One told Punna, son of the Kolians, the ox duty ascetic, Punna, I could not persuade you when I said, Enough, Punna, let that be, do not ask me that. Then Senia, the naked dog duty ascetic, said, Venerable Sir, I am not crying because the Blessed One has said this about me, but because I have long taken up and practiced this dog duty. Venerable Sir, this Punna, son of the Kolians, is an ox duty ascetic. He has long taken up and practiced that ox duty. What will be his destination? What will be his future course? Enough, Senia, let that be. Do not ask me that. A second time and a third time, Senia, the naked dog duty ascetic, asked the Blessed One, Venerable Sir, this Punna, son of the Kolians, is an ox duty ascetic. He has long taken up and practiced that ox duty. What will be his destination? What will be his future course? Well, Senia, since I certainly cannot persuade you when I say, Enough, Senia, let that be, do not ask me that, I shall therefore answer you. 
Here, Senia, someone develops the ox duty fully and uninterruptedly. He develops the ox habit fully and uninterruptedly. He develops the ox mind fully and uninterruptedly. He develops ox behavior fully and uninterruptedly. Having done so, on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in the company of oxen. But if he has such a view as this, by this virtue or observance or asceticism or holy life, I shall become a great god or some lesser god, that is wrong view in his case. Now there are two destinations for one with wrong view, I say, hell or the animal realm. So, Senia, if his ox duty succeeds, it will lead him to the company of oxen. If it fails, it will lead him to hell. When this was said, Punna, son of the Colians, the ox duty ascetic, cried out and burst into tears. Then the Blessed One told Senia, the naked dog duty ascetic, Senia, I could not persuade you when I said, Enough, Senia, let that be. Do not ask me that. Then Punna, the ox duty ascetic, said, Venerable Sir, I am not crying because the Blessed One has said this about me, but because I have long taken up and practiced this ox duty. Venerable Sir, I have confidence in the Blessed One thus. The Blessed One is capable of teaching me the Dhamma in such a way that I can abandon this ox duty, and that this Senia, the naked dog duty ascetic, can abandon that dog duty. Then, Punna, listen and attend closely to what I shall say. Yes, Venerable Sir, he replied. The Blessed One said this, Punna, there are four kinds of action proclaimed by me after realizing them for myself with direct knowledge. What are the four? There is dark action with dark result. There is bright action with bright result. There is dark and bright action with dark and bright result. And there is action that is neither dark nor bright with neither dark nor bright result. Action that leads to the destruction of action. And what, Punna, is dark action with dark result? Here, someone produces an afflictive bodily generative cause, an afflictive verbal generative cause, an afflictive mental generative cause. Having produced an afflictive bodily generative cause, an afflictive verbal generative cause, an afflictive mental generative cause, he reappears in an afflictive world. When he has reappeared in an afflictive world, afflictive contacts touch him. Being touched by afflictive contacts, he feels afflictive feelings, extremely painful, as in the case of the beings in hell. Thus, a being's reappearance is due to a being. One reappears through the actions one has performed. When one has reappeared, contacts touch him. Thus, I say, beings are the heirs of their actions. This is called dark action with dark result. And what punna is bright action with bright result? Here, someone produces an unafflictive bodily generative cause, an unafflictive verbal generative cause, an unafflictive mental generative cause. Having produced an unafflictive bodily generative cause, an unafflictive verbal generative cause, an unafflictive mental generative cause, he reappears in an unafflictive world. When he has reappeared in an unafflictive world, unafflictive contacts touch him. Being touched by unafflictive contacts, he feels unafflictive feelings, extremely pleasant, as in the case of the gods of refulgent glory. Thus, 
A being's reappearance is due to a being. One reappears through the actions one has performed. When one has reappeared, contacts touch one. Thus, I say beings are the heirs of their actions. This is called bright action with bright result. And what punna is dark and bright action with dark and bright result? Here, someone produces a bodily generative cause that is both afflictive and unafflictive. A verbal generative cause that is both afflictive and unafflictive. A mental generative cause that is both afflictive and unafflictive. Having produced a bodily generative cause, a verbal generative cause, a mental generative cause that is both afflictive and unafflictive, he reappears in a world that is both afflictive and unafflictive. When he has reappeared in a world that is both afflictive and unafflictive, both afflictive and unafflictive contacts touch him. Being touched by both afflictive and unafflictive contacts, he feels both afflictive and unafflictive feelings, mingled pleasure and pain as in the case of human beings and some gods and some beings in the lower worlds. Thus, a being's reappearance is due to a being. One reappears through the actions one has performed. When one has reappeared, contacts touch one. Thus, I say, beings are the heirs to their actions. This is called dark and bright action, with dark and bright result. And what punna is action that is neither dark nor bright, with neither dark nor bright result, action that leads to the destruction of action? Therein, the volition in abandoning the kind of action that is dark with dark result, and the volition in abandoning the kind of action that is bright in bright result, and the volition in abandoning the kind of action that is dark and bright with dark and bright result. This is called action that is neither dark nor bright, with neither dark nor bright result. Action that leads to the destruction of action. These are the four kinds of action proclaimed by me, after realizing them for myself with direct knowledge. When this was said, Punna, son of the Kolians, the ox-duty ascetic, said to the Blessed One, Magnificent, Venerable Sir, Magnificent, Venerable Sir, the Blessed One has made the Dhamma clear in many ways. As though he were turning upright what had been overthrown, revealing what was hidden, showing the way to one who was lost, holding up a lamp in the dark for those with eyesight to see. I go to Master Gotama for refuge, and to the Dhamma, and to the Sangha of Bhikkhus. From today, let the Blessed One remember me as a lay follower who has gone to him for refuge for life. But Sania, the naked dog duty ascetic, said to the Blessed One, Magnificent, Venerable Sir, Magnificent, Venerable Sir, the Blessed One has made the Dhamma clear in many ways, as though he were turning upright what had been overthrown, revealing what was hidden, showing the way to one who was lost, or holding up a lamp in the dark for those with eyesight to see. I go to the Blessed One for refuge and to the Dhamma and to the Sangha of Bhikkhus. I would receive the going forth under the Blessed One. I would receive the full admission. Sania one who formerly belonged to another sect and desires the going forth and the full admission in this dhamma and discipline lives on probation for four months. At the end of four months, if the bhikkhus are satisfied with him, they give him the going forth and the full admission to the bhikkhus' state. But I recognize individual differences in this matter. Venerable Sir, if those who formerly belong to another sect desire the going forth and the full admission in this Dhamma and discipline, 
live on probation for four months, and if at the end of the four months the bhikkhus being satisfied with them, give them the going forth and the full admission to the bhikkhus state, then I will live on probation for four years. At the end of the four years, if the bhikkhus are satisfied with me, let them give me the going forth and the full admission to the bhikkhu state. Then Sanya, the naked dog duty ascetic, received the going forth under the Blessed One, and he received the full admission. And soon, not long after his full admission, dwelling alone, withdrawn, diligent, ardent, and resolute, the Venerable Sanya, by realizing for himself with direct knowledge, here and now entered upon and abided in that supreme goal of the holy life, for the sake of which clansmen rightly go forth from the home life into homelessness. He directly knew birth is destroyed, the holy life has been lived, what had to be done has been done, there is no more coming to any state of being and the Venerable Sania became one of the Arahants.